Hello guys, welcome back to day 5 of Spooky Fall event. So further ado, let's begin. So basically, in this uh, actual entire two seasonal trials of the day, we have the easiest one, so make sure you get your speed running gear. If you don't know, get a rope with cooldown, then swift to walk, whatever that enchantment is. I don't even remember it, so it doesn't matter. Then rush if you can, because it's good. Then a boot of swiftness, a ghost cloak, and death cap mushroom. That's what you use. The first one is Soggy K, which is easy. You have four times as many soul, night mood, and soul siphon and enchantment equipped on yourself. So basically, you can just speed run through it. Nightfall might be annoying, but it's not that hard. You can go for a pox plus 25 if you wish to, but won't recommend you yeah, as it's not the best thing to do. But you can, you can, it's nothing like you can't, but you can go for it. And I did got going to buy some witches there, but it doesn't matter. Then you just be on your way. That's all you do, basically. That's the most simple part. Uh, make sure you just take a note that when you do the ambush thing, like, you know, ambush spawning thingy, make sure you use the good artifact and change your armor to an armor we should feel like it's a good armor which you normally use and stuff so use any good armor on that place let's say a tank build or any other build you use cause dax build anything you like so yeah basically because once this starts there are going to be a lot of mobs and with uh speed running gear you cannot survive it basically so that's why i'm telling you to just do that you know so basically the one you're seeing it in the video is the only one where you cannot skip the place but now after this update people say it is possible to skip floors like skip these ambush but i really don't think so and this one is still skippable let's say you're gonna use a light feather and make your way to that block make sure you don't misclick or it's gonna start the ambush but still you can just skip it then you just roll down from there and drop yourself time and once you're down you just can do the same thing then just open the gate and make your way out of this place and it's gonna be okay amazing let's say so yeah basically what's you that's 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 yeah you can use a soul build as it you have soul siphon in chairman i mean once you're there, you just make your way till the boat without dying. <laughs> so, yeah, once you're there, you just clear the level. You can wear a Luck of the Sea enchantment, armor having Luck of the Sea enchantment, and get a good one from there, from merchants, let's say. And once you complete that, you're gonna get yourself a gloopy bow, which is a good bow, till you ask me. This bow is pretty good bow compared to the shrieking possible to last it is basically the unique variant bow i don't remember its name but that bow but we model which i really like until you ask me it does the bubble effect so it's a good one too and it looks great too like it looks like it has three eyes on it's the place from where you hold it you know yeah i don't know it's just an Good enchant should be the old charge witch strike or shock wave or chain reaction. I probably would have gone for chain reaction, but that's just what I think. So basically, after that, the next level, another speed running level in the entire game, which is also a really simple level to last me. So, which is the arch heaven. Make sure you use anything like a crossbow hop crossbow to last me is good because you're burning arrows you know so you can scatter a lot of them together so you have only one life count set and 50 percent of mobs have poison fire so absolutely didn't die for it by the way 
absolutely love my second run. <laughs> so basically, make sure you speed run. You have to make sure you don't get in like melee attack range with any of the melee mobs. Doesn't matter about the skeletons and stuff, but elegers, zombies, anything like that. Uh, yeah, that's gonna be a huge problem to ask me. And make sure you take care of Geomancer, because they're gonna be so much annoying, blocking your way in every single possible way. So yes, basically, speed run your way, don't just get distracted at all, or you're gonna die like I did. And once you die two times, it's a game over. So basically, you have to make sure you remember that, because <laughs> it's, as you... Like, it's, this one's harder than the Soggy K one, as you have only one life count, and also, you put the mobs out, like, Poison Cloud, which is the worst. And at the final ambush, make sure you use a tank armor, because who knows what enchantment they come with. So yes, once you complete that, it's gonna be a victory, and you're gonna get yourself your hands on the Bonehead Hammer. Which is also a great weapon to last me. It's basically the gravity armor, but it looks 10x cooler than it. Why you are just wondering why? The reason behind this is simple. So basically, just see. When you use this thing, the flame comes out of the... Like, the head of the bone thing. Like, the hammer. The hammer eyes, it goes... From that flame thing the flame thing comes out of it I don't know how to explain it to you guys but yeah that's something really cool I like about this thing so the bow is great everything's great so now make my day great by just hitting that subscribe button and if you wish to if you need any tip make sure you comment down below i will answer them as soon as possible for you guys and share this video with your friends let's say and just subscribe because a lot of people who watches my video are not subscribed to my channel which is not great so what are you waiting for just hit that subscribe button and go and check out this video i'm sure you will enjoy it and this is me, I'm signing out of this video, and I'll meet you tomorrow, or maybe today.